working on Broadway, it's one of the best jobs that you can have. Doing something eight times a week, it's your entire existence being in theater, essentially. Canceling a show is unheard of. The show must go on. The move to cancel all Broadway performances comes after a part-time usher tested positive for COVID-19. <coughs> Jack, I'll see ya. I was hospitalized for a week. By the time I came out of that, my business had been shut down. My industry had gone away. My husband and I decided to get out of New York as quickly as we could. A week later, he was gone. It's been painful. It's been fraught. What are we supposed to do? We're trying to keep the doors open until Broadway returns. The Costume Industry Coalition represents over 500 specialty artisans, painters, leaders, the embroiderers, all out of work. I sacrificed everything to become a dancer. It's been my passion forever. I just assumed that I would keep dancing. Opening our theaters, it leaves a lot of question marks. We don't know what that means. It was normal for a production to give you three months lead time, post-pandemic, two weeks. We're spending money we don't have, but we have to. It doesn't feel good, but someone's got to do it. It's going to feel like a really big honor to welcome audiences back to the Gershwin. Happy opening! Happy opening! I don't care if we win any awards. We are healers. We are here to heal our people so they can go out and save the world. Broadway reopening.